Prez reminded me I was gonna get real. <laughs> I don't remember why I was gonna get real. God, I'm sorry, Perez. I failed you. Well, we were talking about. Uh, uh well, I mean, I was, I was uh, like, I, I brought. There was two things brought up, and then my mind went to the thing that was brought up. It forgot what I was talking about when I got real. All I remember in the last part, because I'm literally having the uh, the drinking uh, haziness. Not in the sense that I'm blacking out, but in the sense of that short-term memory. Um, I remember I was talking about like animals and how how I'm like super just into animals and how I how I how I like them. Uh, not not in a knocker way, viewers. Okay, some of you might be like, dude, man, just just this is getting so awkward in the sense that uh, are are you are you one of those guys, the kind of guys that are, like sexual and blah blah blah? And it's like, no, of course not. What the fuck is wrong with you? I like animals because they bring me back to my childhood, my that innocence, the the like love and adm admiration of like just they're awesome. Mm -hmm. And it's like there's that one satisfaction of like feeling like you can like kind of communicate with them on that base level, you know? It's, yeah, it's no, like no I love that needed. shit. Yeah, you know, it's like kind of like a whisperer in a way. It's like I wish I could. That's mm. like another dream job. Aside of being like a farmer and working with like farm animals and stuff like that, which by the way, crops and farm animals, man, chickens and, mm. and cows, uh, goats, yeah, hell, maybe we don't even need Mary Moo Cow and uh, Bessie Moo Cow. We we should just go with like goats because mm. uh, goat milk has this very appetizing taste, even though like people might think it sounds really weird. It, it, like, I don't know how to describe it other than, like, it's, it, it kind of has, like, this grainy sweet taste to it, like, uh, chocolate milk. I mean, maybe I'm out. Maybe I've, uh, lost my mind, but goat milk is actually pretty appetizing. Sounds awkward at first, but then you try and it's like, hey, this isn't bad. I could get used to this. I mean, like, I got used to almond milk, and uh, if you want to ask who's responsible for that, uh, look to the guy who's also commentating with me. Oh, really? Sure, he's quiet a little bit, but at the same time... Yeah, it's, it's way past my fucking bedtime. <laughs> this fucking game. Oh, uh, I guess at this point he's just Wolfman contributing. Well, uh, I'm a little rat boy. <laughs> Wolfman! Look, we got Acapulco. Done. Wink. And as I keep saying, we got a guest room, so you can sleep there if you really... No, it should be good. Okay. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Uh, <laughs> Feliz. Anyways, um, I don't know where I was getting super real and super deep. I don't remember what I was trying to advertise. I'm going to kick myself in editing, because I'm going to be mm -hmm. like, You fucking moron. Oh, you missed out. You were going to talk about your love of animals. But you know what? Between this part and the last part, I think I did that. Yeah. If you need a refresher, go check out part whatever was last part to this. It's in the playlist. I do that all the goddamn time. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I like Evo the Surfer Eden. It's one of my favorite games. I was gonna, I think it might have been related to Parasite Eve, which is also like another one of my favorite. Like if I had a top ten, oh my bad man. If I had a top ten, it'd be like uh, the first two would be Parasite Eve and Evo. The weird building. It's like a pyramid. Are we in like uh, South America? I don't know. I think we're in South America. I mean, that would explain the Aztec uh, architecture or the Mayan architecture. I don't really know. I'm sorry. I'm really super illiterate when it comes to ancient uh, architecture. I guess I flubbed up that bad. Uh, I, I do remember something. It was like talking about uh, the awkward um, stance on a guy sucking your dick. <laughs> yeah. Um... I guess this is the super real part, where it's like, so, say for instance, actually, should I even be talking no, about this? No, it's not even worth it. Okay, alright, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll skip this. Um, you know what, I'm willing to bet there's someone out there that's really curious to know about 
A guy sucking your but, dick. But Gilda would be like, is it gay though? Is it gay? <laughs> I need to know. Listen, if you want it, I think it's gay. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, if, actually... if, if it happens to you, I don't think it's gay. I think it's just one of those things where it's like if the guy is high on E and they just start doing it and you don't give a fuck, I don't think it's gay. Because it's just like it's happening to you and you're just like, well, I'm here just sitting in this chair. <laughs> that happened. How am I supposed to deal with this? Well, I guess that just happened. I don't think you're gay. I think that's just like it happened. That's I think that's really all I've been trying to get at. It's like... It's not, it's not gay because it's just something that's happening in the moment and you just don't give a shit about it. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, from my standpoint, I don't think it is. I think it's gay if you want it, though. Or at the very least bisexual, because if you don't care who's doing it, and as in, like, you know, man or woman, you just want your dick sucked, I mean, I, I would say in that sense, probably, but... Like, if, if it's just happening and you're like, well, I guess this is something that's happening right now. Also, chemicals. You know what? I am super greedy. Buddy, I will let you take oh, those. Oh, man. So nice. Aren't I a nice guy? I'm a right. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. I'm not, I can't fucking hit anything, though. Well, I mean, it's the same controls. Look, we did it. Rio de... Groblin. See, I'm not your I'm not your moral advocate. We got oh, one man. place left. One more. Yeah, I'm not your moral advocate on like uh, you know sexuality. I can't I can't advise what is good and what is bad. Look, I'm not advocating. I want my dick sucked. Cause like reasons. <laughs> if I got into it, it'd probably get even more awkward. More than I even choose to want to get awkward and you know that is saying something because i am fucking drunk <laughs> so if i'm fucking drunk and saying that's too much you know obviously it's got to be right right i'm willing to share to a certain part but i'm just like i'm testing the waters man i don't want to like weird out my viewers i've already weirded them out enough I got like I got like two friends that are like not really into the whole sexual niche of things because like it, it's really a fucking weird place to go about like talking about anything in terms of conversation. Uh, I'm fine with you though, Spinner Mickey, because you know we talk about a lot of sexual niches sort of things. Uh, usually, usually not even like related to homosexuality, just from a basic standpoint of like, yeah, I mean like that's something that happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, that, that's just, like, I, I like talking about sexual things. Hell, we were talking about pornography. <laughs> you, you gotta give us some kind of context, dude. Uh, well, I mean, we are just talking about pornography from, like, the basis, like, like, objectified stance of, like, the plot to pornography is mm. ridiculous, you know what I mean? Because it's hilarious. It's like, so you got, like, I'm probably just repeating myself, because anyone who was wa watching this probably yeah, already knows. Yeah, I'm pretty knows. sure it was awesome. Uh, but, I mean, like, to give it again, because, you know, it, it, you're a stickler for context, and, I mean, it's probably proper that I give it, right? Even though it's repetition. Well, you're talking about homosexuality. And okay, same, all right, all right, fair in enough. the same sentence, you said, we're talking about pornography. Okay. I'm not talking about gay pornography, I'm just talking about the plots that are your average porn. Mm. Like, you know, you got, like, the pizza man, and you got the woman who's like, Oh, here's your pizza, or you got the man being like, here's your pizza man. Alright, that'll be, like, 1950. And the woman's like, oh, thank you, but I don't got any money. Is there any way I can, like, pay for it? And they start, like, uh, unsnapping their blouse, showing a little bit of cleavage, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. and, and the pizza boys like oh i think we can work something out <laughs> and then i mean like uh granted porn can get a little more elaborate than that but not by much but my point is that shit is fucking hilarious because it's like trying to imagine that shit in real life it's just like it breaks logic i mean i think that porn stars are really good act like actors and actresses like i think they put imagine, up with a lot and it's hilarious can you imagine brad pitt taking it up the ass like it's just <laughs> no i can't it's cause... not gonna happen <laughs> but at the same time <laughs> like it takes some skilled acting to be able to do that i mean i think it takes a lot of uh not giving a fuck and also a lot of uh courage to be able mm. to actually go the extra step I mean, they do all their stunts like, yeah fuck. i mean like 
I, I, I'm not advocating that I hate porn, okay? I, I like it. I think uh, porn stars put up with a lot of shit. In fact, I'm almost positive. Uh, drunk, and I don't have any way of, like, certifying this. But I'm almost positive there's some sort of documentary on what porn stars have to put up with in the industry. And it's actually a really good documentary that's worth watching. I, I'm almost certain that this is a fact that it actually exists, and you can go look it up on Amazon or some sort of shit like that. Uh, for sale, it's, it's actually a legit good commentary documentary to go watch mm -hmm. to see what's behind the scenes of what anyone in the industry has to put up with. Because if you're like me, sure, on the outward appearance, it looks great. But then you start thinking about the more intricate details, what you would have to put up with. It's all bullshit. It's all, like, not the mel land of milk and honey. It's all, like, terror and, like, having to stick things up your butt. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if you're like me, you don't want to put anything there. Well, the you don't guys, even want to think about that shit because that's ridiculous. The guys almost have it worse because they have yeah. to, like, constantly be hard at the right time so they well, load up on uh, Actually, pills. no. I don't want to say guys have it worse. I think porn stars, either one, getting into it, have it worse. Because, one, if you're, like, a chick... You have to, you have to like deal with whatever they want to put, whatever like the director says is gonna happen. Mm -hmm. and you don't have any say in it. You gotta do it because that's what's gonna like make or break your career. Uh, guys, it's like sure you're the talent, and it's like no one gives a shit about you as long as you have like uh, whatever. As yeah, long as you have you the qualifications. How hard it would be to keep it like hard the whole fucking time. Well, I mean, like that. That's just it. If you're gonna do it, you you better have something that appeals. Uh, I remember there was this uh, thing that's like, if you're gonna be a porn star, you better have something that actually makes you stand out. You know, even if it's ridiculous or even if it's stupid, at least it's something that really stands out from the crowd. You know, because anyone can say I have a sl I have a donger and um, I, I want to use it. You know, I I I can go about that, uh, but I don't because. Uh, it, it's nothing all that impressive. I wouldn't want to be a porn star. I don't even like sex on the average basis. Because it's a very intimate thing. I can't imagine actually getting into the industry. Because it'd be like, it'd be ruined for me. <laughs> I would have no sense of romance. <laughs> and I barely have a you'll concept that, of romance. You'll be that guy that's cast to uh, be on the side of the bed watch your girlfriend get banged. <laughs> <laughs> I would be mortified because I'd be like, but that's, but, but that's like the only thing, but that's like our romantic thing, mm -hmm. you know, aside from the roses and the candlelight dinners and the atmosphere, it's like, that's what it leads up to and it's the most intimate experience because it's like both of us are basis form, exposing everything that's, that's there. And it's like, you know, I get terrified of that shit. I don't know. Uh, from one person that that's actually had sex from another, like I hate being naked. That might be too much right there, but I hate being naked because it's you. Ju you just feel so exposed. I don't mind it. Well, yeah, but I mean, like I'm just saying, like I I I, I do. I mean, more so like. When, I'm not saying I'm, 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 I'm not saying I'm modest. I'm just like. I, I get terrified whenever I have to be that exposed. It's mm -hmm. just like, uh, there's there's nothing to hide behind. It's like the most most baseless form. It's like, uh, there's nothing to cover up. It's like, mm -hmm. I, I, I am what I am. I have nothing to hide behind because I'm all revealed now. It's terrifying. This is probably why I'm not that great. That's probably why I'm not in a relationship, or at least one reason. Because it's like, I hate, I hate, I hate being naked. Actually, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably making more of a deal of this than I... Yeah, because that's, like, far later in the relationship than I realize. You know, that's, I'm probably skipping to part 24, where it's, like, uh... Relationship involves, like, you know, 23 more parts before you get to part mm. 24. Because, you know, first you have the meeting, first you have the base day, where it's like, Oh, hi, I'm your... I'm I'm one person. Oh, hi, second person. Let's start knowing each other and interviewing like a job. Except instead of a job, it's intimate. I mean, some like I've I met some women that just like the next day. 
Like, no, we're not going on a second date, babe. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Some of you might be like, what the hell is going on with this? Love advice from two people, well, from one person that doesn't know and someone who's experienced heartache from a whole different level. Mm. Anyways, uh, next time, more of God help me. God, maybe we'll end this game next one. <laughs> maybe.